Google Classroom gives you the ability to create and assign work for your students, all without having to print anything. Questions, essays, quizzes, and more can all be posted online and made easily available to your class. To get started, navigate to the Classwork tab. From here, you can create new assignments and also view all of your current and past assignments. To create an assignment, click the Create button. You'll find Assignment at the top of the list, but there are other options as well. You can create a quiz, ask your students a standalone question, or just post supplemental materials like readings or visuals. You can even reuse a post that you've created in the past. In this example, we're going to click Assignment. This will bring up the assignment form, where you can enter all the necessary info for students to complete their work. Let's take a look. First, you'll want to add a title for your assignment. If you'd like to include instructions, you can enter them into the box here. If you click the Add button, you can attach files from Google Drive, links to other content on the web, files from your computer, and even YouTube videos. If you click the button that says Create, you can create a new Google Drive file from scratch. Let's look at the options on the right-hand side. Using this menu, you can choose who to send the assignment to. You can leave it set to all students or use the checkboxes to make different selections. Here you can set how many points the assignment is worth by typing the number in the form. You can also click the drop-down arrow and choose Ungraded if you don't want the assignment to be a graded one. As we mentioned in our Getting Started video, you can set up a grading system in your class's settings. If you've chosen Weighted by Category, there's an additional step for you in the assignment form. You'll need to select a grade category for the assignment, or your students' averages won't be calculated correctly. If you're not using weighted grading, don't worry, you won't see this menu at all. To set a due date for the assignment, open the menu here, and then click this menu to access the calendar. You even have the option of setting a time if you want. Using the Topic feature, you can sort and organize your assignments into custom topics. From here, you can either create a new one, or choose an existing one from the list. If you'd like, you can add a rubric to the assignment, and then use it later during grading. This menu makes it easy to create one from scratch, reuse one from another assignment, or import one from a spreadsheet. Once you're happy with your assignment, you can send it using the button here. You can also use the drop-down menu to schedule the assignment for later, or save a draft if you're not quite finished. Once you click Assign, you'll be asked to confirm, and then your students will receive an email letting them know that they have a new assignment. Google Classroom takes all of your assignments and automatically adds them to your Google Calendar. You can click the Google Calendar button to get an overall view of your classroom's timeline. When creating an assignment, there may be times when you want to attach a file from Google Docs. These can be helpful for giving instructions, study guides, and other class materials. When you use this type of file, it's important to choose the right settings for the way you want your students to interact with it. You can do that using the menu here. Let's look at what each option means. Students can view file. Use this option if the file is something you want your students to view but not be able to make changes to. Students can edit file. This option can be helpful if you're attaching something you want your students to work on together or fill out collectively. Make a copy for each student. If you're sending a worksheet or document that you want each student to complete individually, this option will create a separate copy of the same file for every student. On the Classwork tab, you can easily create topics to group your class materials. To create a topic, click the Create button, then choose Topic from the menu. Topics can be helpful in lots of different situations. For instance, you can use them to organize your content into the various units that you teach. You could also use them to separate your content by type, splitting it into homework, classwork, readings, and other topic areas. Now you know how to create assignments, quizzes, and other materials, all in Google Classroom. To learn more, check out our video on grading assignments. GCF Global. Creating opportunities for a better life.